Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for May 10th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. The weather had really cleared up by the morning. We had blue skies in front and it was great weather for Discover Derby Day. And unfortunately, I was busy with all the chaos of trying to count and everything else that was going on. So I didn't really capture any photos of it, but there were some booths set up and there were bird walks and different games and activities. And it seemed like there was a decent crowd that came through throughout the day. I spent most of the day down at the South Lookout, so I didn't get to see everything that happened. I got to do a little bit of birding at the North Lookout. Here we have a nice cedar waxwing perched in the tree, and you can see that yellow tip to the tail and the black face mask. Here we have a warbler that's yellow underneath with some black striping on the sides. The throat is yellow, then you have black through the area of the eye with some white eye arcs, a little bit of a white supercilium, and then some gray to the top of the head, and a very distinctive tail pattern. If you don't know this tail pattern, this is a good one to learn because you'll see it in the spring and the fall. You have a white tail base and then a very thick black tip. This is a male magnolia warbler. Here we have a gray cat bird that was perched up singing. From the North Lookout, I had 58 species. The wind shifted from west to west-northwest, so at nine o'clock, I moved down to the South Lookout, and the rest of the day, it remained sunny, a little bit of a hazy cloud layer moving in towards the end of the day, but the wind stayed from the northwest for the rest of the day at a moderate speed. It was a little bit chilly at times, but felt pleasant in the afternoon. We had a really nice liftoff of raptors in the morning. I think after a few dreary days, they were all ready to go. We had a few hundred broad-winged hawks, but the bird of the day seemed to be bald eagle. Between 9 and 10 a.m. alone, we had 62 bald eagles, and I think by... 11 or 12, we had had over 100 bald eagles, and it seemed like we were well on our way to breaking the record, but it ended up slowing down towards the end of the day. But we ended up with a total of 133 bald eagles today, which is the third highest single day ever for Derby Hill. Here's another immature bald eagle that gave us a nice look, and this one has a little bit more white to the belly. We got to watch some red-tailed hawks hunting throughout the day. Here we have one that's really tucked in, and these feathers that are sticking out from the wing are called the alula feathers. And in most postures, they're hidden, but because of the way this bird is tucked in, they're sticking out. This time of year, when we're seeing a lot of juvenile beautios, especially on sunny days, everything just looks so pale and lit up, and you're trying to judge what has light shining through translucent areas versus what's missing feathers. But on this bird, we see that it's actually not missing any feathers, but that it does have pale crescents near the wingtips where the sun is shining through. And we also see a relatively long tail. This is a juvenile red-shouldered hawk. Like I said, we had 133 bald eagles today, but all it takes is for one golden eagle to come through and steal the show. Here's my very poor attempt at digiscoping, but we can see that there's three birds in this photo. And as they turned and showed the top side, you could see a lot of bright white and maybe a little bit of black. These were three American white pelicans, and that's a pretty rare bird to get here at Derby Hill. There had been some seen uh, other places in the region recently, and I don't know if these are the same birds or not, but everyone loves seeing pelicans. They're just huge, and they're always a bird that everyone wants to see. So some people got to rush down from the North Lookout and join us at the South Lookout and get a distant scope view of them. Unfortunately, they never really came close. They were kind of out in the distance already when we spotted them, and then they seemed to go off to the west. So I don't know if they had passed closer at one point and we just didn't see them until they were past us, or if they just came from the west and then went back that way. But really good species to pick up for the season. Here's another one of these kind of generic juvenile beautios, just kind of pale overall, a tail with some banding to it, some brown streaking to the underside of the body. But if we look at the wingtips on this bird, we see that the wingtips are a bit pointed because they're only made up of four feathers, one, two, three, four. So this is a juvenile broad-winged hawk. Here's a bald eagle that I thought was pretty cool. This is probably like a fourth year bird. So coming up on adult plumage probably next year. You can see it's already got the white head and white tail, maybe with some black in both of those. But then it has sort of a white stripe all the way down the back. It's like it's got a white racing stripe. So really cool plumage on this immature bald eagle. 
Here we have another juvenile beautio. On this one, we see a very obvious dark belly band and dark patagial bars. This is a juvenile red-tailed hawk. And also notice how thin the banding is on the tail of the red tails compared to that broad wing we just saw. From the south lookout, I had 55 species. In total for the day, I had 74 species. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had 374 turkey vultures, 7 ospreys, 133 bald eagles, we had 4 northern harriers, and 14 sharp-shinned hawks. For beautios, we had 1 red-shouldered hawk, 285 broad-winged hawks, 26 red-tailed hawks. We had 1 golden eagle, and the only falcons were 2 American kestrels, for a total of 847 migrating raptors. That brings the May total to 4,462 and the season total to 82,720. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, they're calling for sunny skies with a high in the mid 50s and winds northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So we'll be down at the south lookout again. And actually, it's very similar to today, especially how it was this afternoon. Hopefully we'll get more birds in the morning than we got this afternoon, but I think by the afternoon tomorrow we'll probably still be seeing stuff moving like turkey vultures, but uh, it might slow down a bit in the afternoon, and with those blue skies it'll be tough to spot the birds, but like I said, hopefully we'll get at least some action in the morning. For Monday, they're calling for sunny skies again, but much warmer with the high in the mid-70s. Winds west-southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour, so it's going to be a good wind direction, at least for the morning. There's a possibility that in the afternoon, the lake breeze could kick in, and that might send us down to the south lookout. But overall, it's a favorable wind, so I would expect a fair amount of action for the morning. But again, with those sunny skies, it might be difficult to spot the birds as they get up high. And then for Tuesday, they're calling for cloudy skies with a high of 77 and winds southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So that is an excellent wind for us. Southeast is our best direction and 10 to 15 miles per hour is a really good speed. So keep an eye on Tuesday as a possible good day. And a big shout out to friends of the channel, Sean and Lorraine from the Bay Area of California for hooking us up with the darn tough socks to make sure that our feet are always comfortable out at the Hawk Watch. All right, another great day of birding, and I hope some new people were able to discover the magic of Derby Hill. We certainly had a great time at the Hawk Watch, and any day you get pelicans is a good day. Maybe not the super mega that we're hoping for this season. Hopefully there's still some rarities in the bag coming up, but a white pelican's a white pelican. I'll take that any day, even if it's only a distant view, and it seems like we have a lot of southerly winds coming up once we get past tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a cold wind off the lake, but after that, there's a whole lot of southerly winds in the forecast, so there may be some Derby Hill magic yet to come in the coming week, so I hope you're able to join us soon out at Derby Hill. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.